Greetings folks, Dice Dice Kitty here. I wanted to talk to you about my Origins Game Fair 2019 experience. So, I'm gonna breeze over some stuff real fast because it's bad stuff and I want to get it out of the way. Uh, Double Tree Suites on Front Street, terrible check-in experience and uh, I mean other than the room, the room itself was was fine. There was nothing wrong with the room. It was just the inconvenience of some of the the things in the hotel uh, plus the check-in experience. Uh, I will never go back there again. So was not pleased with the hotel. There was one uh, tournament that I entered on Friday morning and it was definitely not a community that I ever want to be a part of. They for the most part were unwelcoming, um, hyper competitive, which is fine, but if you're gonna be a jerk about it, nah, I don't I don't wanna do it. But those things really didn't have anything to do directly with Origins. So that's why I wanna kinda get it out of the way. Yeah, the hotel I wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for excuse me, for Origins and the tournament was at Origins, but I mean that type of tournament it's a trading card game so it's not reflective of what Origins represents. Origins is tabletop and board games and I, I don't go to Origins and think trading card games. So being that the game wasn't something that is typically represented at Origins, that's why I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. So just that experience and that particular experience almost kept me from playing Attack Wing on Saturday because I was like, well, if I had this kind of experience here where I didn't think I was going to, why do I want to subject myself to it in a different community? Thankfully, <laughs> I didn't listen to that fear and went and played Attack Wing. So, uh, on to the good stuff now. I didn't, like I said, not dwelling on the bad things. Good stuff. Origins Game Fair, overall for me, is always a great experience. One of the reasons uh, are the 160 plus volunteers that Origins has. I, I want to tell all of them thank you. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for volunteering. Thank you to the security staff. Thank you to Gamma and the other Origin staff. Everybody who put this together and made it run and made it run so smoothly because it definitely felt smooth. You know, I there were no bumps or hiccups that I directly felt. So uh, thank you for a great show once again. I loved it and something else about Origins, I've talked about this before. Last year there were a little over 18,000 individual people who attended Origins throughout the five days of gaming and this year there were over 20,000. So congratulations to Origins for breaking 20k and as someone who has uh, anxiety when it comes to being around a lot of people and also a noise sensory problem. It's not really that bad. Like if I can tune out the noise and I'm fine. But uh, someone like me who gets easily overwhelmed by large amounts of people like all at once. I love Origins because I can go there and not be overwhelmed. There are plenty of conventions that I've gone to that I will not go back to because it's just too cramped. It, it's too small. They're, the people are too close in proximity to me. The only time Origins ever feels crowded is when they first open the doors to the vendor hall. At, you know, every day. Because there's always a flood of people who come in. And that's the only time it feels crowded but once everyone gets in, like to the vendor hall area, they disperse and they're all off doing their own thing. So 
they don't stay cram packed up in the doorway. The actually the only booth that <laughs> I I have any trouble going to is cool stuff. I don't know why. I don't know if it's how cool stuff has it set up or if they're just that popular. Um, I know Cool Stuff Inc. is a very, a very good company, you know, the good distributor, or whatever you want to call them. They sell tons of board games, but um, I did. I wouldn't think that they would be that packed. But yeah, I always have a hard time getting into their booth, and it has nothing to do with the aisleways around it. It's always inside their booth, so. They're the only ones that I hardly ever go to, but everywhere else, all the the game designers, game developers, game publishers, they always are welcoming. They always want you to come see what they're doing. And the energy is just electric. Like you can feel it in the atmosphere and it's great. I just I love Origins so much. And I've very heavily considered canceling my plans for Star Trek Vegas in 2020 just to go back to Origins again. I'm really leaning toward Origins uh, because I know exactly what to expect with Origins. I'm terrified to go to Vegas because that's definitely a ginormous convention. So, um, example, I can't go to Gen Con. Uh, I've got plenty of friends who go. They've shown me pictures. And I can't handle Gen Con. It's too tight. They're too, too close in proximity to each other, the people are. So, Origins for me is it. Like, that is my gaming convention. I know this sounds a little narcissistic maybe, but it feels like the convention was made for me and people like me. Because I can go there and I can feel at home. I can feel at ease. I feel safe. I don't ever have to worry about anybody uh, assaulting me or touching me or being rude to me. You know, it's just, I mean, you're going to have rude people, but I'm talking about the staff, um, the volunteers, the security people, uh, even the vendors, the vendors and the, and the game companies. I don't ever have that problem from any of those people. So that speaks volumes for Origins itself because they they bring in the best. And that's why I love Origins so much. Also, some of my favorite companies are always there. Uh, Gale Force 9, every time I've gone, they've been there. I love them to pieces. Actually got to play Star Trek Ascendancy at Origins this year, which I've never been able to do because it sells out so fast. If you can get a ticket for that, the experience playing at Origins is so much different. It's it's wonderful, so do it if you love that game. Um, Ares Games is another one, and I, I want to give Ares Games a huge shout out for Master of the Galaxy. So, Ares Games has great stuff. Uh, they just released Battlestar Galactica, the tabletop, you know, ship fighter game. Looks amazing. The ship models are spectacular. The quality of the product looks like it's through the roof. And, you know, I wouldn't have been able to see this stuff. Would not have been able to have these experiences if it wasn't for Origins. So, I have uh, a lot of gratitude and a lot of thanks that goes to... Gamma and the Origins folks. Um, I also would not have been able to play in um, Star Trek Attack Wing, the major competitive event for it, Nationals. If it wasn't for Origins, I probably wouldn't be able to have played in that. And it was probably the best competitive experience I've ever had in my life. And it's not a collectible game. It is a tabletop game. There are so many tabletop games that have a competitive scene. And it is amazing. So, not only does Origins have games, they also have lots of artists, writers, uh, people who, who make things like uh, 
these handmade masks, like masquerade masks. They were so, so pretty. They were gorgeous. People who make uh, fantasy clothing, stuff for LARPing. There's so many different types of people there. And there were lots of role-playing people there. Uh, the one that wasn't was Modifius. Very disappointed that they weren't there. And that's not on Origins. That's on them. Guys, Modifius, I'm heartbroken. But maybe they'll realize they made a mistake and come next year. Yeah, might be a good idea. So, <laughs> Origins is the best place, I'm telling you. But, thank you again, Gamma, Origins, volunteers. And also, thank you to all the other fellow gamers out there who are nice and welcoming and understanding because you are definitely my people we are all the same we are all gamers we're all one community and we should all be welcoming to each other to new people to to anyone we shouldn't exclude anyone for any reason so uh thank you to all of you who were like hey oh i see you looking at this game come here come look at this it's a great experience well, thanks again, folks, for watching, and if you're considering Origins, please do so. It is, it is an experience. Live long and prosper, and glory for the Empire. Kapla!